Alrighty, what is up YouTube? We got another Funko Pop review for you guys and today we're going to take a look at the new Monsters set from Funko Pop. Uh, picked up all of these at my local Hot Topic um, and I'm really excited about them because they look awesome in the packaging. So let's take a look at them in their boxes. We'll start over here. We'll go left to right with Herman. So here we have Herman. He's number 196 in the Pop Television line. Looks awesome in his box. Nice artwork here down on the corner. And it does say Herman Monster down here. And if you notice, it does say age 14 plus on down here on the corner of the box. So, another side. There's your standard side of your pop box with the window packaging continued. Gotta love the scar going across Herman's head there. There's the back of the box. You get all four of the pops. Plus, you get a picture of the cast from the TV show. Very nice. And then there is the full piece of Herman Munster Pop artwork. And there is a top of your box. Very nice. Put him off to the side, and we'll check out Lily. She's number 197. Awesome, nice piece of art down here. Really like the way that looks. And she looks great in packaging. I can't wait to get her open and take a closer look at her. There's the side of your box. And the back is the same as Herman's. There she is in all of her glory, and the top of her box. Set her back. Grandpa Monster is next, number 198 in the television line. Looking fantastic. The detail that seems to be in these, just based off the way they look in packaging, is really, really nice. Love his artwork down here on the corner. There's a the side. We'll skip the back since it's the same for all four. There's Grandpa. And then, as I drop the box, there is the top of the grandpa's box. So, set him off, and we'll take the last piece of this set is Eddie Munster, number 199 in the television series. Love his art right here. Love the fact that he's holding his doll right there. That's very cool. Looking great in the packaging, too. There's the side. There's the other. Very nice. And the top of your box. So, we're going to pull them out and take a closer look at the monsters out of their packaging. All right, so here we have the monsters out of their packaging, and I am real happy with this set of pops. So let's get started. We'll go in the same order we did the, the look at the end package uh, beforehand. So as I stumble over my words, hmm, been a long day. Uh, over here we have Herman, and he is just really, really cool. I uh, love the way he looks. Love the paint job on this, too. The paint on all of them is re are really superb. Um, love the shading of the skin tone and the green around the eyes. Love the scar up here, too. You got the silver up here in his hairline. The bolts look good. They're a little, I'm not sure if they're supposed to be angled down a little bit or if they're a little warped. or They give a little bit when I mess with them, but not a whole lot. <clears throat> um, his suit looks great, nice tan on the coat and the pants, See, the shirt's looking nice and even has some nice sculpted detailing in there in the shirt too which is cool. Nice black boots, he got stitches there on his wrist, very cool attention to detail right there on both sides, gotta love that. <clears throat> love the nose, like the, the mouth too, the mouth is very cool. Went around to the back and just everything all around looks very clean on Herman. I really don't have any issues with this pop, sculpting or paint wise. Very clean, very nice. Love the way he looks. <clears throat> Get a little bit of weight to him too, not a whole lot, not as much as some of the inside out pops, um, but compared to like Lily here, he's got some weight to him. Now Lily uh, is quite light, but she looks fantastic too. I mean, love the pose she's in. Love the outfit, the the purple or the real light purple of her of her gown. Fantastic. And the darker purple of the the strings here. Very cool. Got a necklace on. The nice red lips. You got the the makeup on her cheeks and around her eyes. The white in her hair looks great. Just an all around very nice looking pop. More white back here on her hair. Painted very well, too. I mean, no complaints yet with this set, honestly. Um, she does not have f actual feet, as you'll see. She's just molded 
um, and the one solid piece down here, which actually is nice because you have to worry about her falling over. She's very stable, not going anywhere. Very, very good looking pop. So I bump my camera. Check out Grandpa here, looking fantastic as well. Uh, I love, love the detail they put into his suit. Love it, love it, love it. The, the medallion around his neck, the bow tie, the suit jacket, the paint is fantastic. I mean, the coloring in his face and his, his lips or his smile. I mean, look at the eyebrows. Check, I mean, look at that detail right there on the eyebrows. That's just awesome. The hair going back over his ears, that's gray. I mean, you got sculpted lines in his gloves right here. Hope that's that's coming across on camera. I mean, it's just awesomely done. The, not much going on in the back. You got the sculpted in detailing his hair, but the the capes I got a whole lot going on. But painted very well. The collar across the back of the capes, very cool too. I just I love the detail in these monster pops. They're just really well. I love the chin too. That's real cool. Love that. Herman's got one too. And last but not least, let's check out Eddie, who may be my favorite of the set. Um, just because it's almost like it's almost like two pops in one with this that he's holding in his hand. I mean, it's bigger than the mini Ant-Man that we got from the Marvel Collector Core. So, I mean, again, no paint issues, even in the little bitty detailing here on his doll. I mean, it's just fantastic. Just absolutely awesome. All the detail they went into, the eyes are painted, the nose is painted, all the little, the, the hair around the head has lines sculpted into it on there. I mean, it's just, it's really, really, really nicely done. The ears look awesome. Come around here to the back. Again, no paint flaws on this guy. Just a fantastic set of pops. I mean, honestly, Monsters was before my time. I remember watching them every now and then, um, particularly when visiting my grandparents, they'd have them on. Uh, but I don't really remember a whole lot of the show myself. However, this set of pops is just really well done. And they look great in their packaging. So for you inbox displayers, that looks fantastic. And for you out of the box displayers, they look great like they are right there. The detail put into this set is just phenomenal. So I highly, highly recommend picking up the Monsters. Um, hope you guys did enjoy this look at the new monster set from Funko. Um, if you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. I got lots of things coming. And don't forget to check out Popping Off About Funko on Facebook. See you guys soon.